Hey everyone, it's me, Owen, at Our Herbal Homestead. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how we have built our gardens, how we are doing soil building on our site. Um, I basically choose to do this because our soil is very poor. It's really hard to work with. It basically has nothing that a plant wants to, <laughs> to grow in. So we've had to do a lot of soil building and that has led me to do somewhat of a hugel culture type technique, which is a German uh, gardening style of, of building soil. Um, so let's see if I can turn the camera around here. Okay, so we're out here in one of our garden sites that has some finished beds, some beds in the process, and just some raw logs from a tree we had to fall. Um, basically what we've got going here is, um, these logs will eventually be covered with chips and branches like this area over here. You can see these branches have been covered in chips. Uh, I was lucky enough that my neighbor was clearing his property or the, the road on his property 50 feet in, I was able to get a lot of chips to bring over here for this bed. Um, this row is pretty much ready to plant here. You can see that I started with brush, um, like over here, and then put chips on top. And then I just layered up, I might even be able to see it here, um, a layer of dirt, a layer of chips, and a layer of dirt. Just like that. Let's see if we can dig in here and see if there's any kind of worm activity. No, well, not so much in that spot, but this bed is just crawling with worms in other spots. So, a bed in the process, uh, a bed to be made in the future, and up here, this garden bed I've had going for a couple years. It's mainly mugwort and elderberries. Um, you can see some of the logs are kind of exposed and I'll just throw some dirt on top of that. Every year I kind of top dress a little, a little more, add a little bit more on top, but you never till. It's a lot of work in the beginning, but um, you'll save a lot of work in tilling. Um, and by not tilling, you're not disturbing the, the soil's health, the soil microbiology, the worms and all that, you're leaving all of that intact. So that's another good reason to do it. Um, let's see, another good reason to do this style of gardening is um, it will retain more water by creating the mounds, you create these natural kind of dips um, that catch water. Uh, the wood in these gardens um, also retain more water than the, than the dirt wood, which is great. So you can kind of see the contour here of this row. This one I really need to build back up. It was kind of just an experiment with the soil that was here and a little bit of top dressing. Worked out pretty good, but it could be better. So this one, you can see how it's a mound. Maybe it's kind of hard to get it in the frame, but the mound will catch water in the pathways and the wood inside will retain the water longer and it'll act, the wood acts as compost over a period of, of up to five years, I've heard. Uh, my garden beds are only three to four years old, so I don't really know. Um, they provide a lot of compost that way over the years, and they also provide uh, warmth for the, the plants to grow. And you get a little bit of a jump on the season. This mugwort's a little bit ahead of the, some of the stuff I've seen out in the wild. It's also irrigated, so it... Uh, uh, it really takes off. Um, yeah, so 
that's the Hugo Culture garden bed. I probably left out some stuff and maybe I'll add some stuff at the end. <laughs> Thanks. So I just wanted to follow up to you with, um, you know, these kind of garden beds, it's, it's a great thing to do with your, your brush instead of piling it up somewhere and just kind of covering a hillside with it and killing everything on the hillside or burning it, which a lot of times, uh, we'll use like, or people will use like diesel or gas on it to get the green matter to burn. This kind of garden um, will actually trap the carbon in the ground um, instead of releasing it. The plants will absorb most of the carbon. Um, so there's that reason to do it. Um, also, uh, I just wanted to touch on the, the, the water retention a little bit better too. The, the more water you can retain on your property in your garden beds, the less irrigation you're gonna have to do. And it also drops the water lower into the ground, creating a deeper water cycle. So the water will stay on your property longer. Most properties are designed to get the water off the property as quick as possible and out to the ocean, right? But that's kind of why we're having, here in California, why we're having so much dry land and drought is because we're not retaining our water in the ground and in our forest. So it's, it's also just, it's a regenerative, regenerative practice where you're bringing brush that grows back into your garden and using that as compost. It just has a lot of benefits that, is, that are beneficial to the land too. So I just wanted to say that too. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I hope you all have a good day.